Welcome to the joys of Train Valley 2. I'm recording this as Train Valley 2 has just reached full release and with its full release has added the 20 new scenarios that I've been waiting for. So it now has a total of 50 scenarios, 20 of which I haven't seen yet. Last time around I was in the electrical age and as you see I still got a few scenarios where I haven't got five stars on them. However it now goes from scenario 31 all the way up to scenario 50, rocket to Mars. And the first time I came into this screen it told me I'd unlocked a, I had enough stars to unlock a new train called the Rabbit, which I think is that one. Possibly. So this now has a globalization age and a scenario called Cape Town. Now as with all these scenarios, as I'm recording them, I've never seen them before. I have no clue what I'm about to face. So I may well suck at doing these. Also, as this has just had a full release, there may well be bugs in it because normally when things go to a new release and the rest of the world gets hold of the new stuff, they find bugs. So I imagine there are probably going to be patches coming out for this. Okay, now I have a mission time, or a briefing of Cape Town. To get five stars, I need to do this mission in 15 minutes. Do not build any bridges, and do not buy more than two engines. Okay, all well and wonderful, but what does it actually require? Alrighty. Okay, I've got rubber down here. Okay, which needs people. I've got polymers down here, which need people. That needs tires, which is a tire factory over there, which is going to require rubber and people. That's going to need copper ingots, which is going to be going to come from there, which needs people. Now, if I can remember the keys for actually doing stuff. I think I'm going to need to go something like this. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm wondering, am I going to have to... No, I can't go down that way. How am I going to get people to here? The only thing I can see is going around this way. How much might... I've got 37,000 to start with. Okay, how do I get that to join to there? Okay, like that. That's fine. And I can probably run track round here. Somehow, he says, hopefully. If I can bend it. No, I can't bend it quite like that. Let's try bending it like this. Okay. Theoretically, so far, so good. I have no idea how I'm going to get stuff up. Well, I'm going to have to go up here somehow. That should be interesting. I'll find out how that bit works as we go. But first off, time to get people out of here. Oh, apparently, I've Clue, I've I've got something over here as well. Alright, well you go down there. Let's get some people making me money. Oh, I've only got four trains, I can buy two more. Okay, so I have to wait for a train to get get into somewhere. Right, off you go. Off you go. get me plenty of copper ingots and rubber. Uh, one, two, three, tr okay, another train. I imagine whilst I'm doing this there's going to be lots of pausing going on whilst I try and figure out what it is I'm doing. Okay, we've got 12 people 
12 people? How many carriages are these people carry? Get out of there. Out that way. Right, now how do I get stuff from one place to another? Right, well... Okay, I'll figure that in a second. Okay, now where can I go with this track that will work? Okay, I can go that way, round here. Round here. And down. Oops, if I go a straight line, it'd be good. Okay, and I can put that across there. So I can get the copper ingots from there into there and can get people from there to there. I need to buy that tyre place and then somehow figure out how to connect it. But I think I can probably, if I could bend that round here. It's going to need to connect there anyway. I probably need to connect that way. That's most of my money gone for right now. Right, I'll start sending people out in that general direction. Oh, I need electricity as well. I don't know where I generate electricity from. Oh, over there. Okay, I didn't even notice that place. You start sending people out. And you start sending people out as well. Send some more people out. Ah, these carry five carriages. That's... I didn't notice that one originally. Okay. Well, in that case, you go that way. And you follow him. Right. I'm possibly doing this badly, but like I did say, I haven't actually ever seen this scenario before. So I have no real idea what it is I'm doing for the most part. That's not exactly unusual for me, I must admit. I frequently have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. But don't tell anybody, I've, I'll try and fake it. Um, send some more people down there to get me some more rubber because I'm going to need the money. You send some more people out that way as well. Oh no, I'm going to have trains, okay. Somebody get a train home. Right, you go that way and you go that way. And you're going that direction. Okay, I've got some cash, so next thing's build that place and see if I can figure out how to connect to it. That would probably be good. You've got all the ten... well, most of the people you're going to need for the moment. You've got ten copper ingots. Well, we're going to send you out and send you up there as well. Okay, now how do I connect this track to anywhere? Can I go this way? Okay, I can go this way. Can I get down from here? Oh, I can get down from there. That's actually better than I was expecting. I need to do that as well. That will get me the tyres to there. Now how do I connect that? Can I connect this this way? Apparently I can. The tyres that can then come out of here and go down there. And get me the sewing machines which I need for this place. So far so good. I have no idea how to click the electricity place up and... However that's not particularly a problem right now because I don't have any money so I couldn't connect it even if I wanted to. I can send a shed load of rubber out that way. And I need to somehow connect... Ah, okay. I've just figured out how to do this. I just need a little... Oh no, I've got some cash. Right, if I connect that to there, and that to there, I can get the polymers up there as well. Which is all well and wonderful. train, good. So do not buy more than two trains. Well, at the moment I can't afford to buy one, so that's not particularly a problem. Get that switch over there and send you there. That gets the polymers in there. What's that? Oh, might as well send a load of people back down to make some more copper ore. 
because I've got people to spare and I'm waiting for this. These things to get here, so then I can start sending people out of here to start making tyres. Cash as well, always nice. Okay, we're good so far. Oh, that's just making electricity. Is that making electricity by itself? That can't be. It must need something. Yes, logically it has to need something, right. Okay, so I need to get tyres from over there down to there, well, I haven't got any tyres yet. And I need to figure out how to connect this to anything. Can I go this way? No. Can I go this way? Not really. Unless I go around the back. Well, that's interesting. That's one way of doing it. I'm not sure it's necessarily the best way of doing it. But is that, gener that generating electricity by itself? I don't know if I needed to connect that to anything. Uh, um, while we're here, send some more people out down this way to make me some more rubber and more polymers. But mainly rubber. And you send some more people over there to make me some more copper ingots. Okay, yeah, this is doing what it's meant to be doing without me re being required to do much about it. Okay. I'll send another train out of there. I'll send you onwards and upwards down that way. And we'll send you over there to do that. Okay. I need to get a load of tyres down over here as well. Okay, I'm going to have to connect this over here. I've got a connection that way as well. I've got time at the moment. I'm going to need some more copper going out of here. Probably over to there. Okay, so... Let me get some more rubber out of here. That way. I need to get some more polymers out of here at some point, but that's going to wait. So I've got a little more space. I didn't realise electricity just turned itself on. I thought I'd have to send a train that way. Okay. Well, that was a waste of a bit of cash, but that's life. In my case, I can waste cash with the best of them. I'll send you down there to get me some more polymers for now, because I'm probably going to end up needing those. Alrighty, so what do we need? Right, you're in there. We've got tyres. So we need to make sewing machines and we're going to need 15 of them. So we're going to need to send tyres out of here. Down here, down there. And they should go straight there. In theory. Okay, that makes so machines. Oh, I've still got to connect this place up somehow as well, don't I? And that just needs rubber and people. If I'd known that. So I'm trying to do this, one of the conditions is to do this without making a bridge. That'll work. Ah. No, it won't. Stop. Right. That'll help. Okay, now where was I with the sewing machines? Okay, I'm going to need a load more tyres down there at some point, but I'm just going to have to wait. Um, okay, send some more copper this way. Some more people. Oh, I don't have any trains. I can buy one train. 
I'll send some people out of here. Don't you dare, you two dare meet in the middle. Don't be tight. Slow down. Ah, uh, go that way. That way. Okay. Where am I doing? Go down that way. I need to start getting goods goods back. Otherwise I'm going to be in a bit of trouble, but that's life. Okay, I'm gonna need people to go down that way as well. You're not going in there, you're going in that direction. Okay, that's got seven. I need more stuff. Um, Alright, send you out there and down there and into there. Just see how that ends up. Send another one down there as well. Okay, how many tyres have I got and where do I have to get them to? Alright. You're coming out of here and going that way. I could upgrade the trains because I'm not good on time here. You're going to need some more people in the tyre place. tire place. I should get that lot down there. Now I need... To... Okay, I've got ten sewing machines. Where are they going? Ah, okay. Yeah, the one thing about this game, no matter w how I play it, I end up panicking. That's a guarantee with me in this game. I just panic because I'm always never sure if I'm doing the right thing. And even if I am doing the right thing, I'm never sure if if the right thing is the right thing. If that makes e even less sense. Okay, now I need to get some more tyres out of there. That way. That way, then that way. That's got the sewing machines there. Can't do anything with you right now because I've got trains coming into there. Okay, what am I short of? I need 12 tyres and I don't have enough people in the tyre place. That train make it there? Good, right. Now you're going to send a load of people that way. And you're going to send. Oh, not you. You. I'm going to send a load of people around that way. I'm also going to send a load of people down there. You should go up there. Yeah, that's right. Around there. That should get me all of the glue I need. I need 12 tyres and I've got... I don't have enough rubber up there to make enough tyres. I'm short one sewing machine, okay. You send rubber up there and into there and you start shipping stuff out of here. Okay, you've gone past there and into there, that's fine. You're going that way, as is the next one. And you're coming out of there and going around there and around there. Down, down into there. And what am I missing? 12 tyres down here. Sewing machines are getting there. So start shipping tyres out. 
since I'm running out of time. Oh, and that's going the wrong way. Stop. Reverse. Oh, stop. Reverse. Okay, that's going to go around here, down here, and down that way. Okay, you're coming out of there and into there. That's going to get me. I don't have enough rubber up there. I need enough. I need more rubber to go that way. So you're going to have to stop because you're not important right now. Now you can get going. Yep, every time I play this game, I panic. I always think I'm doing something wrong. And I normally am. Alright, to be fair. It's not exactly um, a game that makes you think everything's under control at any given point. I don't have much time. How much time do I have? I do not know. It's not telling me. Oh, okay, a minute and a half. And I need another tyre. Come on. No, I don't think I'm missing anything at this point. That's seven tyres headed this way. All the glues come out of there. Everything for this place is good. So in theory, that is one way of beating this level. I'm sure there are better ways. I'm sure there are far more efficient ways. However... Unless I've missed something blatantly obvious, I'm rather proud of myself. Doesn't happen very often for me these days. Ha! Five stars on the very first new scenario in Train Valley 2. Ah, oh, wonderful. Yes, I'm definitely feeling proud of myself. Oh, and I've just unlocked an achievement for having now got 150 stars. Or at least 150 stars. 151 to be precise. Yes, at some point I'm going to have to go back and finish all these levels. There's what, four levels? Yep, four levels I have four stars on. I haven't played this game in, in a while since I completed the drainage. So I should be able to go back and do better on those levels. So I can get the full 250 stars at some point. Not don't guarantee I'm going to be able to do that whilst recording. Because like I say, I've never seen any of these before. So to me, it's a whole magical mystery tour, which you get to watch. And it's, I get to watch as well, because I tend to go back and play, replay these at some point to see how I did it and what my voice sounded like and how much I was panicking. Because it's enjoyable for me to go back and watch myself mess up games frequently which is something I would suggest there's a if you play on, on the PC there's a free software called OBS get it it's easy to set up you just tell it to capture the game and point it to whichever game is and record yourself playing it even if you don't do commentary record yourself playing it watch it back and see how many mistakes you make and see how many things you look at and think, why did I do that? Doesn't matter what the game is, just it's worth doing because it will change the way you play games. It will change the way you think and the reasons why you do things. And you'll just look at these silly mistakes you make and go, why? What was I thinking when I did that? It's quite instructional and quite good fun. It's also much more fun if you add commentary as well, which is also easy to do. But... I can highly recommend recording yourself playing a game just because it makes you look at things differently. Okay, I'll shut up and stop preaching now. That was the 31st scenario, Cape Town, of Train Valley 2, which has now just gone GA as I record this on the... couldn't tell you what the date is. No, I can. The 13th of April, 2019. I enjoyed that. I hope you did. And hopefully I'll see you down the track for more episodes of Train Valley 2 in the not-too-distant future. Cheerio!